a little bit more advanced, we can also do. We can actually add some variables into the um, components and then use those variables to select, uh, yeah, to use in our data sources to limit the selection, for instance. So what I've created here is a text field. I added a date field, a start date field, and an end date field. Now, I want to use these three parameters in a data source, and the data source will limit the selection of the, uh, let's say, the opportunities that I want to show, depending on these parameters. My data source here, as you can see, has a couple of variables. One is called stage, one is called close date start, and the other one is close date end. You cannot add these parameters via the Suckle Builder. You will have to add them manually. So that you can just add them by changing the circle right here and paste them right in there. So let's take a look on the continuation of the configuration. So I've added on this one my lightning convert component. I again selected my record ID. I have added my .config ID, hard-coded. That's not the best way to do it, definitely not, but I did it here hard-coded. Um, and then I have also set up certain parameters. As you can see, every parameter is actually split into three ways. So a parameter can have a name, and the name obviously has to match the name of the... Uh, uh, oh, sorry, let's get back here. Uh, has to match the name of the, uh, um, the variable that's in our data source. So you can see here stage, you can see here close date start and close date end. And you will find all three uh, in our uh, data source, stage, close date start. They are um, case sensitive, so make sure they are set correctly. Next up, I need a type for my um, for my parameter. The types can be uh, string, double, date, date time, boolean, multi-select. Make sure to copy these uh, parameters from uh, the academy or from uh, our uh, YouTube video because they have to be in the exact same format, the exact same way of writing, uh, uppercase, uh, lowercase, case sensitive, all of that has to be correct. And then last but not least, there is also a value for the parameter. And this value is just our uh, screen component, the stage. So it can be any uh, any variable, of course, that you have, or it can be hard-coded the way that you want it. But this will just add three parameters, one parameter called stage of type string, and then the, straight, the stage value. The next one is a parameter called close date start of, date, uh, of type date, and the uh, uh, value is uh, uh, close date start, and then close date end of uh, type date, and again, close date, close date end from the screen component that I want to use. Let's take a look. I'm going to debug this one again. Obviously, the first one, going to select a record ID and then say run. So the first one is uh, the one we can skip. We already seen that one. That's the, uh, uh, but now next is the interesting one. So I only want to see opportunities in stage closed one between a date of 20, uh, let's say 2000 to 2050. Okay, cool. Let's do next. So now it will use these variables and actually make a selection right here. So let's make it a little bit bigger. As you can see, the first one is of 2018 and the last one is of 2020. So let's uh, run again and then um, make a difference in the selection, make a change in the selection. Again, we're going to go for closed one, but let's say we want to go for variables of uh, 20, uh, everything bigger than 2019. 2019 and then the 1st of January. So let's take a look next. And there is already a little bit less selected. And as you can see, the one of 2018 is not there. So the parameters are used. The parameters are actually uh, filled into our data source and then the selection is made.